The Labor Department had a report last week which caught my eye that uh, some people are suggesting may explain some of the wage stagnation in this country. There is a labor market that is tightening. In other words, more people are finding work. It's not at the rate where it should be, and at this rate we're not going to get to full employment for quite some time, and a lot of people have dropped out of the, uh, out of the uh, labor force. But nevertheless... When you see these signs that the labor market is tightening, you would expect wages to start to uh, edge up a little bit. However, there's a theory out there that part of the reason why wages aren't going up, and I'm going to butcher this again, this concept, but it basically means that uh, it's basically a function, or this is one of the theories, that because there has been so much consolidation, with the Walmarts, the Home Depots, the Lowe's, the big box stores. There's just not as many employers out there. And as such, there's not as much competition for employees. Monopsony, I think it's called. I mean, I know it's called something like that. I just don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly because I can never pronounce that word. But it's basically... Not a monopoly in the sense that you are the only company out there providing services and you use your market share as leverage. It is you use your market share as a buyer of labor and maintain or suppress wages. And it's interesting because I was talking to my dad about bankruptcies over Thanksgiving because that's what we talk about. And he said that the, there's just not as many bankruptcies over the past couple of years. And he suspects it is, and we're talking about corporate bankruptcies, because there's been so much consolidation. That either you have a very small uh, outfit, like a total mom and pop, or one of these massive companies. But uh, it's an interesting uh, theory. The Labor Department put out these figures. Businesses with 500 more employees counted 46.3% of U.S. private sector workers on their payrolls. A decade ago, it was 44.2%. Most of the increase came at expense of businesses with fewer than 50 employers. So there's definitely consolidation going around, and that's not, it's having adverse effects. Lawyer Matthew is telling me that bankruptcies are down because interest rates are so low, it's very easy to refi out of trouble. So that may also be it.